just want to wish everybody a happy May the 4th. Here's Baby Yoda and Charbig. Charbig. Hello, good morning friends. It's a beautiful day. We are here on May the 4th at Animal Kingdom and we're going to take part in all the May the 4th activities that they have for Star Wars here, which is probably zero. I'm gonna go with there is zero, but we're going to make them up as we go along. So, let's go do it. Wow, there is nobody in here right now. I mean, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I could head over to Hollywood Studios, but that would be so typical. So today, we're gonna pretend that this Animal Kingdom is Batuwe. What a score. As soon as you walk in, you can see all of the tattooy, um, the, uh, the, the mountains, and you can see um, a lot of Star Wars things. Ha! Huh. As suspected, they are having a celebration here at Animal Kingdom. This is only because of today's date that this is all in here. This is not normal. Now I am 100% officially a real Star Wars fan. Over here on our right, when you exit the gift shop, you know that part of uh, Star Tours where the thing comes out and it latches onto your, 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 your spaceship and it grabs you underwater and shakes you around? They have actually done a tribute to that right here in the sand. Yikes, C-3PO, you've seen better days, but I mean, more power to you, buddy. So for today only, Dinosaur has become um, Dinosaur, Attack of the Tantan Bantha Ewoks. Let's go see this overlay. So I'm wondering if we're making a mistake even trying to wait in this, but we have been waiting here for a very long time. Probably like 40 minutes, I got in line at two, said 35, but we have been in this line for a very very long time all right i decided to stick it out and like the main goal of everything was to make it into this room where i would be cooling off and like i have not sweated like this in forever i sincerely thought not wearing a spirit jersey was going to be super helpful not at all i've sweat through every layer i have on right up here we have a hero bird and over to our right is a lost Cats. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think that they would even have these in here today. And up there is a La Karu. What a treat. They still have the same pre-show happening. I am so glad. We did miss hello there and nobody zigzagged through the queue like we're supposed to, but hey, you know what? I'm even sweating like in this spot here, like in between my like, well, like where my elbow, you know. It was kind of like, you know, like how you've been in a line for like a good 40 minutes. And then the ride goes down and you're like, I'm already committed to 40 minutes of my day. Let's just like see how it ends up panning out. That's what we did here. And it, it was it was one of the roughest waits I've ever had. You know, Animal Kingdom always just feels like it's the hottest park for no reason at all. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Aquanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! I think what he meant to say is, hi, this is Kylo. I need help getting Chewie back home to his home planet. Let's go. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Ewok! Skyracosaurus. Meteor shower in range. Just little. Now that makes sense. That's right. There are meteor showers in space. <laughs> Ewok. Hadrosaur. Oh no! Right there! There he is! There's Chewbacca! Okay, so that was great. I mean, they did bring out a lot of new animatronics for the overlay today. Like, we did get to see the Porgs and the Ewoks, and we got to see Chewbacca, Kylo Ren. It was it was actually great. This looks like a scene from um, the Jurassic Park ride at Universal. They like pull a shirt back and forth. Look at this hunk of space junk just sitting here. That's suitable, right? As we continue our walk along for our May the 4th celebrations, we're going to be coming up on Endor soon. Look, right up there. R2-D2. He looks good out today. So they did say on the, the event guide for today that Expedition Everest will feature Chewbacca right at the end, which is really great for today. In 15 minutes, can't beat that. There he is, Han Solo. They have Kylo Ren's mask in here, ripped from the movie. BB-8, right here in the queue. 
Um, wow, that line was super short. I'm thrilled. This is a really important part of every single May the 4th at Animal Kingdom is trying the blue milk. Not sure how it's going to taste, but I'm ready to try. Wow. Jabba the Hut, right there. What? Oh. Right, oh, there. Another beautiful sculpture of Jabba the Hut. Right there in the middle. Beautiful. People are ducking for me like this is serious. This isn't working out at all. Um, I mean, this entire vlog has been pretty horrible. I don't even know the names of anything to do this. So, and, and without there being like Star Wars things to like say, like like point and shoot and say like, oh yeah, this is, this is the Millennium Falcon. I can't say that because there is nothing to even point and shoot at because I'm making it all up. Oh, BB-8, it's time for you to take us to Endor. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to go to a real party. Now, I am officially ready for May the 4th. Right? If you notice, my ears have TIE Fighters on them and my shirt has BB-8. My shirt's got BB-8, the necklace has got BB-8 as well, if you believe this is all my stuff. Because I mean, it totally is my stuff. It's not my friend Jillian's or anything like that. It's definitely all my stuff. I knew coming to where the party was at, we would find some really awesome merch. So we got Endor, Batui, and Tatui. Am I crazy or has this not been open in a long time? Maybe I'm crazy and I just think that it hasn't, but I thought it wasn't. It must have been open this whole time because nothing's changed since I last, my memory remembers. So maybe I'm just crazy. I probably drink like maybe seven waters a day. I drink them so fast too. Like I literally just bought this and it's gone already. I am always so thirsty here. You know what time it is. It's the Star Wars parade just for today. There's Anakin, there's Luke, there's Darth Vader. Here he comes on his little uh, Chevrolet Volt. Oh my gosh, Chewbacca. What a day, what an excellent day. They dressed up the stormtroopers in green today, wow. Okay, you may have noticed I did do a little bit of a costume change because I obviously know everything about Star Wars. And we're going to go, I mobile ordered a little um, Darth Maul cupcake from the Backlot Express. Let's go try it. The shirt that I was wearing was actually like a sweatshirt with just like the sleeves cut off on it. It's not focusing on me. I was sweating so bad and we're the next guest so we gotta go. I made a mistake, what we ordered was not a cupcake, it's a mousse, like a little mousse lump. So yeah, let me rephrase that, a Darth Maul moose. Okay, I'm going to use the force to get this over to me. Amazing, right? So now that we've used the force to bring this over to us, not a fork, this is the Darth Maul cupcake, I mean not cupcake, moose, and we're going to slice it. I've never had a dessert like this with the glossy, oh boy. Wow, it looks like a, a shiny red and black thing. I like it. I like it. Veronica likes something. 
There's a fly on my camera right now. There he goes, he flew away. Okay, as I keep eating it, I notice that we have like a medium rare center here and it's raspberry. And I'm gonna pretend I didn't taste it yet. I would honestly probably eat around that. I'm not really into the artificial fruit flavor. But the chocolate, this is the well done side. Gorgeous. A bonus surprise is that that bottom there that I thought was like part of the wrapper is a cake. What a treat. Chip and Dale dressed up as Ewoks for today. Oh no, I've been wanting to do this for so long. I have been waiting to do this. It's been a long time coming. Oh my goodness, the chairs are adorable. What? Boy oh boy, you have no idea how excited I am for this right now. And the reason why I've never done this before is because I, could, I never knew where it was. It made me cry because they forgot Pluto and it made me think of Gracie. And it was hard, but Pluto did get to his vacation, but it was really sad when Pluto thought he got left behind. I also cry on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway when Pluto gets left behind. I'm a big sucker for dogs. Also, that was really cute. It was just, I don't like the way the characters look like that. They could have just used like the classic characters and it would have been like even better, but it was cute. And now I know what Potato Land is, the thing I've been dying to take a picture with. There's Potato Land, but there's a stroller. I don't know whose it is because there's only one other couple in here. I don't know, but I need my picture with Potato Land. That'll do better right there. I finally got my Potato Land picture. That has nothing, nothing to do with May the 4th. So let's keep going. Okay, right here is the um, 360 Jedi training. I just did that photo. I wasn't sure how to do it. And he's like, you do not know how to follow direction. He's like, feet right there. And I'm like, right here? And he's like, no, feet right there. Go to the right. And I went to the left. And he's like, um, no. But we got it. We made it work. As I'm getting ready to walk up and get myself a lightsaber churro to get a picture in Batuwe, I noticed they don't have the cases on them, so it kind of defeats the whole purpose. Right there is a statue of C-3PO. It's right outside of the Muppets for today. I think it is now time. We are ready. We've been practicing all day. We are prepared to go to Batuwe. Back to Batu. Now you leave the world of beer, cheese, and pretzels and enter a world of a galaxy so far, so far away. And now let's pretend that we just wrote some Rise of the Resistance. Um, pretend we did, okay? And then we went up and the at that things are gonna kind of blast us. And over here on the Coca-Cola stand, we've got R2-D2. Something that I'm really looking forward to today is that tonight, right before park closing, we have a lightsaber meetup. So everybody's gonna get together, bring their lightsabers, and we're all gonna meet up and stick them in the air. Exclusive, they have Doc Ongar here to be sold as the wood carving bird has created all of these dark Ongars for us. Huh. Leia's got her buns on the wrong spot of her head. It's all right, she must have had a rough morning. I have never seen such a cuter critter than this little Wally spider thing. I kind of love him, he's not gonna beat DJ Rex. And something that I actually really know what it is, is the Millennium Falcon. I've known what this is for like two years now, and I always get it right. I know right there, that is 100% the Millennium Falcon. Nice picture, guys. So I just got to Docking Bay 7. I mobile ordered ourselves some moon juice. I've never been in here in my life. This is an absolute 100% first time I'm ever laying my eyes upon this. I honestly thought, oh my goodness, Jaws. Even more than Jaws, tadpole fish. Wow, wow. They even sell display salads. Wow. Here it is. Goose, goose, moose, moose. Here's a nice little spot to set up and have our moof juice. This is actually really good. I could taste pineapple. Pineapple's my favorite, so this is really good. 
So if you want some good juice, get some moof juice. Drink it while you're not walking. Tonight, right here in front of the Millennium Falcon is where we're going to have our light saber meetup and it is going to be of epic proportions, just like this. Now we just joined the queue line to ride Smuggler's Run, which I love this ride. Fun fact, I love this ride. I wasn't even wrong at all. This is literally like a straight up, no stopping walk on. We are still just literally walking on. He just asked why the cargo wasn't loaded on the freighter 49 or 16. And I always ask myself the same question. We are still walking on and there's Endor. He's preparing us to go in there to the ship. But he didn't see me so he didn't say anything. And now we walk like we're walking down the terminal to get to our airplane. Oh. I only want to give you guys facts for today. So when I just said that his name was Endor, his name was Hondo. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm only trying to speak the truth. Press on the flashlight right now. Woo! Those heavy dies are protecting the tank. Take them out. Oh. They've not gone to us. Thank you, Daisy Duckshot. Right. Left. Right. Left. He said he based the maneuver. I made Chewie Your proud. God. Minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is. Oh, that is rough. That is pretty bad. I never even saw this before but it's the Feed Me Seymour, and I'm feeding him you guys. I realize I do some pretty like aggressive movements with the camera, which the screen's already cracked from, uh, I don't know what actually, it just was cracked one day. My full screen's cracked too because I tripped over a dog and fell. Okay, you know how, oh, I just dropped, dang it. You know how earlier we tried the Animal Kingdom version of Blue Milk? Well, here at Hollywood Studios, we're going to try the real straw wrapper included version of the blue milk. Hold on, let's try wrapper off. It's not really frozen, it's not really liquidy. It's so strong. Um, it tastes like the smell of flight of passage in a drink. So yeah, you know the smell of flight of passage? They made it into a beverage in Star Wars land. A BB-8 family reunion right over here. And those droids that drive you in Rise of the Resistance. And Flubber right up there. R.I.P. Flubber. Stop! We got a 2319. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, so this is the droid depot. But this reminds me of the McDonald's that used to be in downtown Disney. And on the ceiling, there would be like little toys and snacks floating across. So you know how DJ Rex is my favorite Star Wars character? Well, right here between Toy Story Land and Star Wars Land is where DJ Rex crashed his space trooper. What a little goofball. Dang, Rex, we're like about the same when it comes to driving. Here we are for the Star Wars meetup. I think we spent enough time right now in Batuwe. So now we're gonna go and do Star Wars as our like last Cinco de Mayo thing of the day. This is one of my favorite rides here at the park. Maybe my second favorite ride here at the park. And even though I've never watched a single Star Tours, I still love it. Oh my goodness. Would you look at who it is? It's little DJ Baby Rex right here on Star Tours and I never even knew. Welcome, Star Tours. I trust our colleague is safe. Safe? Have you have any idea what we've been through? We're in your deck, Captain. Captain? I'm glad to be of service. Thank well, you. We're all in the Rebel Alliance now. Certainly the Force be with us. And also and with you. Thank you for flying. I was the Rebel Spy one time. 
I mean, it wasn't today, and it's not relevant at all to today's situation, but I was before, and I'll never let it go. I'll live it down for the rest of my life. I will tell everyone. I'll shout it from the rafters. I was one time the rebel spy. It's the Hollywood Studios Kiss Goodnight right now happening. Well, the battery is dying, so that means it's about time that we start making our really sloppy outro. So, I hope you really enjoyed the fake Star Wars fan for a day. May the 4th be with you, and also with you. Also, happy single to Mile. I would love to get Gracie's. I don't think we've had rain in Florida.